It's going to open up a lot of eyes. Um, it's going to show viewers who Trayvon Martin truly was. And how did we get from Trayvon going to the store, getting uh, a bag of Skittles and, a, and an Arizona iced tea to being uh, eulogized? When I first previewed the uh, part of the documentary, it was, it was very emotional because a lot of old memories had been brought back to life. They say that time heals all wounds. It does not. It was important for us to uh, relive the pain so that other people can be aware of what exactly happened. We spent several months investigating, researching, speaking with firsthand uh, witnesses to um, what had happened in Sanford, Florida. It is a story that no one can stop talking about, the shooting of Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. It was the case that for many summed up the dysfunction of America's gun laws and depth of its racial divide. Trayvon's parents, they really led the narrative and their tragedy has highlighted the injustice in this country for centuries and they've given birth to a new civil rights movement. When we say black lives matter, we know that all lives matter, but all lives aren't uh, in danger as black lives are. We get killed for lesser reasons because maybe the police thought you had a gun, maybe because you were walking away from the police and we get shot and killed. You see the man being shot. You have to look at those things because if you continue to pretend like this situation isn't happening, then you are part of the problem. I think it's important for viewers to understand when they embark on this story that our film is not about events in the past, it's about the present. We were filming Tracy and Sabrina and we were on the road when Parkland happened. And if you look at the response to Parkland and how many um, people are able to mobilize around it, it's absolutely incredible. It's so powerful. But part of the issue here in this country is that we don't mobilize behind the killing of black, unarmed men and women the same way. I am here today to acknowledge and represent the African American girls whose stories don't make the front page of every national newspaper. As a father, uh, you look for your, your kids to be the torch bearers for your, your namesake. You never plan to build a legacy for your children. You plan for your, your children to continue your legacy for you. And so uh, with that being cut short, um, there's a part of me that feels cheated. It won't be this generation that makes the change. I sincerely believe that it will be our young people that makes the change. The young people are really fed up with what's going on and they're going to make a change and I believe in that. I just hope I live long enough to see that change.